Hello everyone. Welcome to another tutorial of Power BI and Python in particular I would say in this case. So on our channel we have uploaded various videos which are either dedicated to Power BI or dedicated to Python Pandas for data analysis. But in this video we are discussing about using combination of Power BI visuals and Python Matplotlib visuals in one dashboard. So the data set we are using for sample is Titanic data set. I will explain about the data set. It is a very famous data set for data analysis beginners. I, and we have also uploaded so many videos about Titanic data set on our channel. But the main purpose of this video is to let students know, let professionals know the use of Python scripting to create graphs in Power BI. So these two graphs, this histogram plot on age variable and this passenger class plot on this uh, this pie chart on passenger class variable these are not from the power bi visuals this is coming from a python scripting which you can see here which i will just explain and similarly here in the histogram plot you can see so if you are familiar with python pandas matplotlib and you are exploring Power BI, then you can utilize the knowledge of Python Pandas, Matplotlib in Power BI as well. So in some cases, it is easier to draw a visual in Python because we have command over the, obviously the commands, right? The, what we can do a lot more uh, data cleaning, data munging, and there are various type of things that are somehow easy in Python Pandas or we can say we have more control in Python Pandas and there are certain things that are very easy in Power BI so we can combine them together. So how we can do this? So first of all we will open a blank visual and start from scratch for, uh, now here in the visual, you will see Python visual and R script visual. Remember this is visual. So first click on this and you will see a visual. Okay. You can see this. Now when you will click on it, you will see this option here which is called Python script editor. When you will click on it for the first time, there may be a prompt asking you to enable Python script. So you have to click enable there and you will do it yourself. And now here is uh, our scripting editor. It is like an IDE. If you are familiar with Google Colab or Jupyter Notebook. So this is the same thing here. But right now we cannot write anything. So first thing that you have to do, you have to select a variable. So let's select this. So we can select any variable. In this case, we have selected the gender or the sex variable here. And it is giving us an information that the data set, this particular variable, which is called data set here, is pandas.dataframe sex and duplicates value duplicate values will be dropped. So this is selected. Similarly, if you will select any other variable like for example, uh, we have fair, which is a numerical variable, then also you will see the same thing. So this is what this particular thing does. So let's say we have to select this sex and somehow we have to count how many male and female passengers are there in the data set. So first I will show you some data set here. Uh, so in this data set we have passenger ID as a column, survived value as a column, 
like whether the person was able to survive the titanic accident or not then passenger class so uh, passengers were traveling in first second and third class in the data set their name their gender their age which is somehow not coming here we will see that the, uh, whether or not they were traveling with sibling or a spouse so sib sp whether or not they were traveling with parent or child so if they are traveling with sibling or a spouse how many of them right parch parent or child their ticket number their fare cabin and embarked so these are the values and that's how that's how we have 891 rows so from table view we can view this data and now let's go back to the visual now here this data set is one of the important things for us if you have to plot graph and read the data from this table you will need two libraries or two packages of python first package is pandas package so we will import pandas as pd second package that we will need is import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt so these two packages are kind of uh, packages for uh, pandas is for reading and processing data and matplotlib as the name suggests is for plotting the graphs so because this is a visual right this is a python visual so you need you will need this okay and if you are not familiar with pandas or matplotlib and if you want to learn basics of pandas and matplotlib so on our channel clustech pani we have many playlists related to various data analysis tools in english and hindi language and here you will find a playlist for pandas so let me show you and i will leave the link in the description here we have 18 dedicated videos data analytics using python pandas and uh, this will give you a basic idea or even complete idea of what python pandas is and we have used matplotlib here as well i will give you some links which will help you in understanding these things if if you want to explore more stuff like google looker studio power bi machine learning whatever you want to understand or basic python let's say so everything is given here now let's come back to our topic so considering you have some basic knowledge of pandas or if you don't let's try to understand here so pandas is a package that will help you in connecting with the data set and reading these variables so for example if you want to read this variable you, uh, from uh, data of power bi from this data pin of power bi so you have to use pandas and with plt you can plot graphs like uh, pie chart histogram bar and so on which you can see here we have plot two graphs like age we have used histogram and in passenger class we have used pie chart so now how can we select the data so first we will write the name of that variable so you can store it in s let's say s is stands for sex column now s is equal to or let's say gender so gender is equal to pd dot data frame so data frame is a two dimensional uh you can say data and it's a it's a class of pandas which creates two dimensional uh, objects and uh, in these objects we have rows and columns so in this data frame what we are going to do is we are going to select this particular variable so in order to select this variable here you can see 
we have data set so this data set is a variable which is accessible to us and we can use this data set to select columns so write data set this is by default a data frame and in this data frame we have to select a column so we are selecting this column which which is labeled as sex head so now we are selecting this column converting it into a data frame and saving it as gender this is what we are doing here and then we will write gender dot sex dot this this is how we'll select that column and then we will use a function called value underscore counts or the, the what this method does is it counts the unique values in this column so in this column you can see we have male and female so it will count how many male uh, values are there and how many female values are there. So what is the total number of row count for male values and row count for female values. This is what it is going to count. And so this, this will just give us a list like male 25, female 50, something like that. And then when we will plot this, we have to use kind is equal to and let's say this time we can use bar H, which is bar horizontal. So in a horizontal bar, we will plot this. If you are using something called, uh, let's say Jupyter Notebook, or you are using Google Colab, and you write uh, this much code, it will give you some data. But when we'll run the code here, you will see it cannot display the visual and when you will see the detail you are seeing no image was created the python code didn't result in creation of any visual so what we have to do is we just have to use a simple trick called plt dot show so this plt dot show is used to show the plot right and when you will write this and then run the code with this uh, icon over here you will see the graph okay and let's see what what do we have here so you, you can see we have a horizontal bar where we have male and female written here and their values so <clears throat> in order to test our code here we have open google collab which is an IDE, an online IDE for running Python codes and uh, plotting graphs. So you can just search Google Colab and open a new notebook. You must be logged into your Google account. And you have to click connect in order to load this on. And I hope since you are reading Python and Power BI, so you are already familiar about it. And here in the folder view, I have uploaded the same data set, Titanic CSV file. And what I'm going to do is I will copy the path of this file and let's call it data set. So we will call it data set. And this is how we can read CSV files. So in this case, the, uh, the file is CSV file. That's, that's why we are reading it like this. And then the rest of code will be the same. Like in our data set, we have these columns. So from the data frame, we are going to create another data frame called this. And let's see what, what do we get here. So you can see we are getting the data set, right? So this is showing us female, male, correct graph. And we have not altered the code. But uh, the only difference is here we are seeing a different type of graph because the duplicate values are removed, right? That's why we have only, we are seeing these equal bars over here. And when you will actually run it in Colab, you will see the actual data. 
So why is this happening that we are seeing a different graph here which has only the equal values but uh, when we are using our collab notebook we are seeing a different graph here actually we have the count right uh, if you want to see the count you can also run this script here and it will show you a series like male are 577 in the data set and female are 314 so if you have to do it correctly now let's follow a simple procedure from here go to transform data and this will open the power query editor for you and here you can see we have passenger IDs okay so in these passenger IDs every passenger has a unique ID which you can see if suppose you did not have a column like this which has unique IDs for each row what you can do is you can add index column and use from one that means from first position we want to generate a column so every row now has a unique index and now close and apply this okay and simply in your data choose these two columns while plotting the graphs choose these two columns and now you can see the difference okay now we can see male and female let's see right so we can see the count of female and male are different now and this is actually the correct graph now how we can put this graph here so in order to put this graph just go to copy visual and here just press ctrl v this will bring the visual here now you can obviously use drag and drop and reposition it in order to fit it in the data and this is how you can do this obviously we have a lot more text and everything it will need a lot more formatting than this in order to make it look better but this is how you can bring these visuals right and uh, you can resize shape them give them different type of formatting we also have a dedicated video where we have created a complete sales dashboard so here is that video over here where we have created the complete sales dashboard step by step formatting coloring everything is there which you can see so you can follow this video as well and uh, now we can fix this as well because in this graph also we did not select the index that's why this is also not correct this pie chart so the script for this pie chart is like this import matplotlib numpy and pandas numpy is not necessary right now but you have to at least import pandas and matplotlib then select data set p class that means the passenger class and value underscore counts plot kind is equal to pi so here the kind is bar h if you use bar simply bar and run so it will be a vertical bar if you use pi here okay and write auto pct is equal to percentage 0.2f that means we want to see the percentage of male and female as well so this these parameters will give you a percentage value well, let's see you can see 64.76 percent male 35.24 percent female so these things are there obviously you, you have to learn uh, these things and uh, but this is how you can plot a pie chart so here also we can fix it and we can go and select index here as well which will give us the correct graph 
So here you can see that uh, passenger class 3 is more and then we have passenger class 1 and then 2. The most number of people were traveling in passenger class 3 then 1 and then 2. So this is how you can now you can copy this graph and remove it and paste it and then you can adjust its height, width and everything to match your dashboard. From here you can go to format, go to effects, give some kind of shadow. You can also give it some kind of background, let's say something like this. Whatever you want to do can be done from formatting which we have explained in great detail. So this was a simple demonstration of how we can use Python, Pandas, Matplotlib combined in order to create a graph like this. I will provide this Power BI file and the codes in the description. I will provide a link from where you can get all of this. If you like this video and you want to learn more, uh, more stuff like this, please subscribe to our channel so that we can Whenever we will upload a video like this, you will receive a notification because we are going to do a lot more uh, things related to Python, Pandas and Power BI. We are also in our next videos, we will also demonstrate use of decision tree machine learning, logistic regression, linear regression, everything. We will demonstrate that in the next videos. So see you have a nice day.